What's up, my comic comrades? We're not gonna waste any time today. We're just gonna get straight to the big reveal that we've been hinting at for some time now. I'm very excited to announce that over the past two years, I've had the privilege of working with some incredible people to co-write and co-create an original comic book series. And to say this has been a lifelong dream of mine would be a massive understatement. I'm also crazy excited to announce that myself and the rest of the creative team have partnered with Comixology to bring our new creator-owned story to all of you as a Comixology original on July 27th. And if that news wasn't amazing enough, the book will also be coming to print in the near future through a partnership with Dark Horse Comics. But before I get into all the details like the title of the book, what it's about, as well as introduce you to the entire creative team, we also had the opportunity to work with some very talented people to put together a teaser trailer for the book. And today we want all of you, our comic book family, the Variant Nation, to be the very first people to see it. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy the world premiere trailer for Astonishing Times. Throughout history, mankind has always looked at the horizon and hoped for something more, myths and legends. But here in the 21st century, our heroes walk among us. So why do things feel like they've stayed the same? It's been 15 years since the cataclysm, and most people seem to have forgotten it even happened. No one looks up anymore. We need to remember what our heroes stand for, to be inspired, to look up again, or else we risk losing their legacy forever. No matter what comes next, we have to stay strong. This is Noah Sands reminding you that we live in astonishing times. And there it is, the world premiere teaser trailer for Astonishing Times. As I said, it's a creator-owned Comixology original written by Frank Barberry and yours truly, with incredible art by the very talented Ruri Coleman. The book is initially set to be a five-issue limited series, but we may or may not have left room for more. You'll just have to read the story to find out for yourself. As I mentioned earlier, issue one will officially drop exclusively on Comixology on July 27th, but you don't have to wait until then to lock in your digital copy, because Astonishing Times is available for pre-order today on Comixology. As in right now. Crazy, right? The link to pre-order issue one is in the description of this video. We also hope you guys really enjoyed the teaser trailer. It was edited by the immensely talented Ryan Connolly, who wears more hats than anyone else I know, including producer, director, writer, and host of the well-known filmmaking channel, Film Riot. Not to mention, he's the owner and president of Variant's parent company, Triune Films, and the co-creator of Variant. So, you know, he's, he's done a few things. But seriously, a huge thank you to my boss and good friend, Ryan Connolly, for pouring so much time and effort into making the Astonishing Times trailer amazing. And speaking of amazing, the glorious voice you heard narrating the trailer is another man of many talents, actor Graham Powell. Graham graciously agreed to lend his sweet, sexy vocals to the trailer on very short notice, and he really brought the Astonishing Times trailer to life. So Graham, thank you, thank you, thank you. We could not be more grateful. We put links in the description so all of you could check out more of Ryan and Graham's work. Please be sure to show them some love. But now it's time to get into what Astonishing Times is all about, the theme and synopsis of the book. As you saw in the trailer, Astonishing Times is very much a superhero comic. In a lot of ways, it's our love letter to the superhero genre. All of us who worked on the book were inspired by some of the greatest comics of all time, like The Dark Knight Returns, Watchmen, All-Star Superman, The Death of Gwen Stacy, and others truly timeless and classic tales throughout superhero comic history. With that in mind, we brainstormed about what we could do different within the genre that would still encompass and focus on all the things we love about superheroes. And ultimately, we began to gravitate towards the reasons we love superheroes as a theme, with the biggest and most important reason being that they give us hope and represent something to aspire to, like an embodiment of light at the end of a dark tunnel. And as a result, Astonishing Times is sort of a reverse take on Alan Moore's Watchmen. What I mean by that is, one of the many themes of Watchmen is that superheroes can be broken people, who make bad decisions and suffer with their own demons. Despite the fact they're supposed to be heroes, we look up to, but with Astonishing Times, we flip that paradigm to focus on the idea that while it's true there's a lot of evil in the world and some people we should be able to trust let us down, ultimately there's still more good out there than bad. And if we choose to focus on that good and keep looking up, not for someone to save us, but toward a brighter tomorrow, together we can make the world a better place. It's the idea that the world will never be perfect, but we should always be focusing on those big steps in a positive direction. And that hope is essentially the heart and core of Astonishing Times. As far as story and synopsis of the book goes, Astonishing Times follows Noah Sands, a young reporter 
who works at the Sentinel in the shadow of his deceased father. Amazingly, he also lives in a world full of superheroes, but shockingly, even after the heroes saved humanity during a world-changing event called the Cataclysm, people just aren't interested in them anymore. Heroes have become old news, commonplace. But things change when Noah begins investigating a mysterious murder, which both brings him face to face with his most revered heroes and forces him to confront a secret past that could change the world forever. It's sort of a superhero murder mystery, but I don't want to give too much away. As for some of the main characters or superheroes you'll meet in the world of Astonishing Times, I guess I could tease a few of them. First, we have Gold Rush. He's our speedster for lack of a better term. He runs and moves incredibly fast. How fast? Well, there's no known limit as he draws his speed from stealing kinetic energy. The more he steals, the faster he is. So if he's facing someone who's super quick, it wouldn't be good for them. I'm not naming any names, but I think you guys know who I have in mind. Anyway, next we have Crossout. She's our telepath with a possible twist, but I don't think I want to say more than that right now. You'll just have to read the book to find out more on her. However, we also have Mitika, who has the power to heal others and herself. She's also an expert with firearms. Next in line, we have Koken, who is probably my favorite of all the characters we created. He's a cyberpunk samurai and the greatest fighter and combatant the world has ever seen. He's the badass who doesn't give two Fs in our book. Every story has to have one, and ours just so happens to be a samurai with a few cybernetic limbs. And let's just say the name Koken isn't just a cool name, but rather a title that was earned and bestowed upon him by a secret society in Japan. And last, but certainly not least, we have Infinite. Infinite draws his immense strength from all life in the universe sentient or not. Thus his power is infinite. Essentially, we wanted to create a character that would be stronger than both Superman and Goku, and as a result, Infinite was born. And let me tell you, as the character's co-creator, he's absolutely far stronger than Superman and Goku. We might even take a lighthearted dig or two at them in the series. But that gives you a little overview of Astonishing Times and some of its characters. And with that, it's time to introduce the incredible creative team behind the comic, because Lord knows this wouldn't have happened without them. First up, we have my longtime friend and pal, Frank Barberry, as co-writer along with myself. We've actually had Frank on the channel in the past to discuss his previous works, which include Five Ghosts for Image Comics, The White Suits for Dark Horse, Avengers World and New Avengers for Marvel, Superboy for DC, and a ton more. Needless to say, he's an incredibly talented writer who's worked on some very cool stuff. And with us being good friends for many years, the idea of partnering up to write a comic together was a no-brainer. But next, we have our amazing penciler and artist, Ruri Coleman. No joke, guys, he's probably one of the nicest, most laid-back dudes you'll ever meet. And let me tell you, it is not easy to find a good artist that gets his pages in on time, let alone one that's also an all-around pleasure to collaborate with. So, we really lucked out. Ruri has worked with Marvel for Star Wars, Fallen Order, Dark Temple, and Cloak and & Dagger. He's also worked on IDW's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Amazing Adventures, so, you know, just a few well-known properties. But seriously, he's done an amazing job with the visual storytelling, the character designs, and line art for Astonishing Times. I think you're all gonna love it. Next up, we have our amazing colorist, Lauren Afay, who came up with a great color palette for the book. She's worked on Spider-Gwen, the Stranger Things comic, Axis Revolutions for Marvel, The Witcher, Flesh and Flame, and the list goes on. She's unbelievably good at what she does. Moving on, we have our letterer, Taylor Esposito. He basically took all the words Frank and I came up with and made them look good inside of the word bubbles. He's actually a former letterer for DC, lettering such books as Red Hood and the Outlaws, Constantine, and more. But of course, he's also done work for Image, Volt Comics, Aftershock, etc. And lastly, we have our amazing graphic designer, Dylan Todd, who's responsible for the logo and trade dress of the book. He's the dude that gave the book the awesome newspaper journalist vibe. And then there's me. I'm 100% the noob in the group with no previous comic credits. But like I said, this is a dream come true for me, and I'm just honestly grateful to be a part of it. You know what they say, if you want to be successful, surround yourself with people more talented and successful than yourself. And I've been extremely fortunate to be able to do that in this project. And if you'll let me go a little hard on my sleeve here, this is all super surreal for me. To be honest, it's kind of emotional. This project has been quietly in the making for two years, so being able to finally announce Astonishing Times to all of you, our comic book family, who have been watching Variant and listening to me talk all things comics over the years, is just crazy. I'm so used to talking about other people's comics as the host here on Variant, so to be able to contribute to the art form that I hold so near and dear to my heart is just kind of unbelievable. Having the opportunity to help create a superhero universe that people get to read is unreal, and also, Kind of terrifying. With that said, I 100% believe in the story that we came up with, and I can't wait for you all to read it. We also couldn't be more excited about the book Finding a Home as a Comixology original. Chip Mosier and the great team at Comixology have believed in our story from the start, 
and we couldn't be more thankful for their support. And finally, we're super grateful to partner with the home team here at Variant and Triune Films to give the Variant Nation a front row seat to all things Astonishing Times. Leading up to the launch of issue one on July 27th and beyond, you guys are gonna get a behind the scenes look at the creation and rollout of Astonishing Times, including exclusive conversations with the entire creative team, episodes and podcasts discussing the creation of the story, its characters, and what goes into both the writing and visual aspects of comic book storytelling. We'll also be bringing you guys concept art for Astonishing Times, possible sneak peeks at some of the finished interiors, exclusive giveaways, as well as first dibs on Astonishing Times merch and collectibles. So we're quite literally gonna be partnering with Variant to give you the Variant Nation an insider's perspective of what it's like to create a comic and much more. Because truthfully, without all of you, I definitely would not have had the pleasure to be a part of creating what I think is a great comic book. And I can think of no better way to show my appreciation than to bring you guys on the journey with us and hopefully make you feel like you're part of the team. We're also hopeful that for some of you who are interested in creating comics, this could be helpful in giving you some insight that you could use to break into the comic book industry for yourself. Because let me tell you, now that I've done it, it's not easy. Anyway, once more, Astonishing Times is available for pre-order on Comixology right now for only $2.99, and the link for that is in the description. The entire creative team and I really made this book for you guys, and we can't wait to share it with you. I will also add that if you have an Amazon Prime, Kindle Unlimited, or Comixology Unlimited subscription, you'll be able to read each issue of Astonishing Times as they're released at no additional cost. But again, pre-ordering the book definitely helps ensure we get to do more of these in the future. As a reminder, while Astonishing Times will be digital only at first, once all five Five issues come out, it'll be collected in a trade by Dark Horse, at which point you'll be able to buy physical copies. I'll also mention that issue one is a 34 page extra sized issue, so you get a little more bang for your buck right out the gate. But I think that's everything my common comrades, so a huge thank you once again to everyone who helped make this possible. If you're a fan of superheroes, you're gonna wanna pick up Astonishing Times. It's everything I love about superheroes, so if your taste aligns with mine, this is 100% for you. Obviously I'm biased, but we're extremely proud of the story we've put together for you, and we really think you're gonna dig it. And what better way to close this out than by rolling the teaser trailer one more time. So get ready guys, Astonishing Times are coming. Throughout history, mankind has always looked at the horizon and hoped for something more, myths and legends. But here in the 21st century, our heroes walk among us. So why do things feel like they've stayed the same? It's been 15 years since the cataclysm, and most people seem to have forgotten it even happened. No one looks up anymore. We need to remember what our heroes stand for, to be inspired, to look up again, or else we risk losing their legacy forever. No matter what comes next, we have to stay strong. This is Noah Sands reminding you that we live in astonishing times.